Hi YouTube, it's me, <clears throat> it's Nikki, and today I'm going to be doing a story time, I guess, while I'm getting ready. I'm not going nowhere, I'm just, um, straightening out my hair, and I thought I can, I haven't made a video in a while, so I could just talk to you all while I do my hair. First and foremost, I did do a video on this, uh, curler here, it's the Professional Steam Styler, and I still don't know how to use it really. It, um, it's supposed to steam, but I really don't know how to make it steam. So I'm just, um, basically gonna apply it in my hair. Um, cause I've been looking like one of these, uh, troll dolls. So. So, first and foremost, I'm going to let you all know what I've been doing. I've been doing nothing, really. I've been just chilling, and I have two ponytails. I've been just chilling, and I'm not ready for this weather. Our weather here is like in the 60s or something. Although you can see I'm not wearing my my dentures either. I'm not gonna wear my dentures today at all because I don't think I don't plan on it. But today I think I'm gonna talk about loyalty. Yeah. I think I'll talk about loyalty because I'm big on loyalty and I always get stabbed in the back. So we're gonna talk about some loyalty issues here. Um, with me. I'll start off by saying, um, I'm, the, I'm one of the most loyal people you will ever find, you know, and it's like, there's a, I look at it as a blessing if you find someone like me because I'm very loyal I'm very loyal and it's like where I won't the next person will where I won't well I will keep all your secrets and all your you know what's talked about between us is our business you know so I keep it that way but where I keep it that way the next person, they won't keep it that way. They straight turn on me. I don't know why. Eh, I'm scared. I haven't did this in so long. They, they straight turn on me. And I don't even know. Okay, I hear this thing. I don't know why they turn on me. Oh, there. Can you see this thing? But they do. And it's like, ah. When a person turns on you, it's really best to let them go. Because if they turn on you at any instance, they are not true at all. They won't be true. They're, they used to be true, but they, they won't be true to you if they just... And the thing is, they turn on, a, on you to a person that doesn't even have their best interest at heart at all. So, where you had their best interests at heart and you all were on the same page, it disappears. That's where trust comes in. That's why I have trust issues. I don't trust anybody. It's just bad. It's very bad. I don't trust anybody. It's hard for me to trust people because... People could change on you at any given moment, and it's like, it's, it's shocking sometimes. I'll say it's shocking on the individual, because it's somebody that you would never, never, ever think that would do you that way. It's always that person that you would never, ever think that it'll be them. So that means you have to let that person go and move on. There's no need of arguing about why argue 
have so much loyalty to you. That doesn't make sense, right? So, it just means they weren't meant to be there in your life like you thought they were. It just means it's time for them to go. Like the seasons are changing, I just spoke about. It just means their season is up and they're transitioning. And, I mean, by all means, if you, you like that type of deal, go for it. If you don't, move on. Change just like you have to learn to adapt to the seasons. Like, we have to learn to adapt. We have to grab sweaters, uh, hoodies, and jackets, and coats. We have to learn to adapt to these snake people out here. Believe it or not, well, there's a lot of them out here. And being that being said, you gotta adapt. That means you gotta let them go, in my opinion. You gotta let them go. If they don't come to you, there's really nothing they can come to you and say. If they, you know, if they were tricked or whatever their excuse may be, they should come to you as an adult. Because for one, they know you. And they know how you act and how, and what you how you are so it's like why would you think i did or said something like that why don't you come to me as a woman or a man come to me as a woman or a man to see what's up you know people don't do that no more i don't know if they ever did y'all like my cup it's a halloween cup this is twister uh tropical fruit furry I will be bouncing around today on different subjects. So, basically, while I'm, um, my hair's so tangled and I don't have any tangler. I actually do have some tangler, but my daughter decides she's gonna hide it, she's gonna lose it. And I know my daughter didn't take it with her, my other daughter. But, um, yeah. And that's a quick, oh, that's a quick briefing on loyalty. If someone does not want to be loyal to you, you let them go. You don't have to go doing any investigations or any of that. Just let them go. Because guess what? If they've been unloyal to you this, this time, they're going to about do it again. Are they going to do it again? I can almost be sure of it. I'm just really straightening out my hair, y'all. I'm not putting it in no kind of style or anything. I'm just straightening it out. And for y'all to think I don't have hair because I wear wigs, I wear wigs because it's easy maintenance. Easy maintenance. I love changing up my hairstyles. So I wear a wig. Two seconds tops, if that. Two seconds, I could change my hair up and I could be whoever I want to be. Especially when I'm doing my Twitter. Not my Twitter, but when I'm doing my, uh, some things, um, my, um, my TikTok videos. I love it. I change the wigs. Sometimes you catch me, I have a hat on. Besides, you catch me all about this, but usually I try to have a wig on. So really this is just a little get ready with me really quick. Straightening out my hair deal. Just to let you all know, I do have hair. I just don't want to mess with it. And I've, I think I said this before, I'm transitioning from the relaxer to my natural hair so i have not received a relaxer in i don't know how long so what i'm doing now is just straightening out my hair because i haven't i haven't straightened out my hair and i usually don't put heat in my hair i will wear a ponytail or a wig and call it a day. 
see it at length, but I still have some take care of my hair to do. So, let's see. Um, I know I have a lot to talk about, but uh, I just don't know. The world is really crazy, though. Like, for real, for real. And I am literally afraid. I've been single for two years, y'all. And I'm literally afraid to even get into a relationship now. Because you can't trust anyone. You don't know if they're going to cheat on you. You don't know anything. You're just like jumping into something. <laughs> um, that's one thing I don't like to surprise, be surprised about. Jumping in a relationship. And you don't know what I'm jumping into. You know? You don't know what you're jumping into. So, I mean, yeah, sometimes I want to be with somebody and sometimes I don't. Why? I don't know what I want to do to this, how I want to do it. I mean, it's like don't know what a person's mindset is. You don't know what they're thinking. You don't know where they've been in their life. I have gray hair, y'all. <laughs> right down the middle. Y'all yeah, gonna see it. But you don't know where nobody's been. You don't know what set them off to make them crazy or whatever. But I'm to the point where I... I would love to have a companion, you know, um, somebody to just kick it with every now and again, somebody just a friend, I guess, just somebody keep it real with you, God. no liars, you know, just somebody keep it real. My TikTok and notifications are going mad crazy right now. I did some TikTok last night. And they're going mad crazy right now. But I don't even know. I know I could be a good woman. That's no that's no question. I know I could be a good woman, but it's like I'm afraid to get involved because people, they get you all, you get all attached to them, and then they start acting a fool, then I gotta act a fool, you know, I don't like acting a fool all the time, I have, I have been known to act a fool, y'all, I ain't got no problem acting a fool. I don't like to fool until I know, uh, let, you know, somebody make me know that I'm like, certain things I just don't, I don't go for. And this is it, like, don't go for foolery at all, y'all. Don't do the last at all. I don't want to be caught up with no female mess. I'm I don't want to be caught up in no drama. <laughs> Nobody's unfinished business, you know. Because it's like, God, really? I almost got caught up in some unfinished business a few months ago. Like, hold on. What's this? You know. <sighs> Not I, honey. Not I. Because soon they... If they could pump me and I'm coming to your house or I'm coming wherever you are and no, not me. I'm good. I'm a lover, not a fighter. I'm not a fighter, but I will. I will fight. I'm, I'm too old to be fighting, y'all. Let me get this part again. 
I'm sure I'll be doing that bit. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, I just want to chill, watch a movie, watch a poo, <laughs> and just relax. Relax. Oh, this, this is, this iron, y'all, gets hot as heck. But it gets the job now. You see how it has um, straightened me out, right? And that heat, the steam, I mean, it gives you this really soft and a chic look. So, yeah, I'm digging it. I am digging it. I need a small one, like for the edges, you know. Cause it's like these big ones are too big. You can't get to your edges, right? Let's see what else been going on with me. Ain't really much been going on with me, y'all. I um I have been feeling it's like one day I feel good, next day I feel horrible. I'm getting that vertigo back. I'm bothering my vertigo. For those of you that don't know what vertigo is, it's like when you're off your equilibrium and um, you you can't, uh, you're like knocked off your balance. I've been going through that. So I, you know, I guess I'm trying to stay chill and, and focused on this can't chill. <laughs> so another thing, I don't have reason to be bickering with anybody. For what? Like, I don't, I don't have time for all that. Oh, last two weeks. Y'all see my new piercing? Got a new piercing right here. See it? I had to get pierced. Oh my God, my TikTok is literally going in it could be um it could be somebody went live or it could be somebody liking my videos or commenting on my videos see how sleek it has your hair and that's that steam the steam has your hair really sleek Like it's taking, it's not taking long at all. I'm not doing a really hard press though. Just something to sleep me out a little bit. What made me get this piercing? Well, honestly, I used to cut. I'm honest with all my fans, my subscribers. I used to be a cutter and I vowed never to cut again. So when I get stressed out now, I have to get a piercing or a tattoo. Now, I can't get a tattoo yet until I get rid of this one. I don't think it'll be fair. You know, so once I get rid of that, this one here, I'm going to get a tattoo. It's a passage and I don't know if I'm going to put it like right across here or what, but until then, I'll get a piercing. First, I was going to get the dimple piercing. But I decided to get a lip person instead. So I got that one. It's better than cutting, right? But I vowed to myself, few people, my children being one of those group of people that I would never cut again. So, yeah. 
And for you all that don't know what why people cut, let me explain it to you. I don't know if this is for everybody, but for me, a cutter is a pained individual. Pained individual, and for me, I've been pained. And I try to take the pain that I'm feeling and direct it. I direct it somewhere else. So when I cut that pain that I'm feeling, it goes away. It goes away. Now my I've been my tongue been pierced for about seven times. Okay, seven times now. Why you say so many times? Okay. For one, I've been pained a lot. And, um, I've only had a pierce. Now, the last time I had a pierce, I wasn't pained, but, well, I was pained, but I had surgery. Being that I had surgery, I had to take it out, of course. I had to take it out, and I just didn't feel like... I kept having to put it back in, take it back out, put it back in. So I got tired of doing that. So, um... That was the last time I did that. Hopefully that's the last time. I can't stand getting, starting over with the tongue ring piercing. It sucks. Um, when I put my dentures in, it, um, clacks the top of my palate, you know? So, yeah, but I got used to it. But, um, I had taken this, I haven't really let this close, I've just been open, you know, forever. Um, my 10 year old was a baby. He was like five, six months old when I got this one. I will take it out or whatever. I'm done, y'all. <laughs> I, I will take it out. Um, but I never let it close. So, um, with this one, I was very pained and I, I wasn't cutting. Like I said, I've been holding on to that. I have not been cutting. And I, I, I vowed not to ever cut again. I didn't. I haven't. I won't. But I didn't say I wouldn't get pierced or tattooed. But this tattoo here, like I said, it has to be taken out. It's their, da their dad's name. And I was young, stupid. And I was told from a good friend, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. She knew the deal. I just thought maybe... We were going to be cool forever as their dad, you know, had I known that it wasn't going to be that way. I would have listened. I would have listened and I would not have got it. That was my first and last tattoo. This one I'm drinking, y'all. I don't know. But now I have to clean that up. I have to clean that up and I have no problem with it. It's a learning experience or whatever. So... Yeah. So, yeah, I just learn from your experiences. Some people do, some people don't, but I did. I learned never to get a guy name tattooed on you because you never know what's going to happen. You never know. So, and now he's my worst nightmare. So, I'll never do that again, but. I, the next tattoo I get is going to mean something. And I already know what it is, but I can't tell y'all yet. Y'all got to see it. But, yeah. But I'm so glad you all were here for me to talk to while I'm getting ready. And I'm not even going to wear. Y'all see? Look. Is it this? No. I have a patch of, there it is, a patch of gray hair right here. 
But that's just a little wisdom. I told y'all I learned from my mistakes, so. I'm glad that you all stopped by to watch me get ready for nothing. Just get my hair in order at least, so. And feel free to add me on TikTok. It's, my username is N-I-K-I-S-H-A-21. And I am who I want to be on there. I am, it's my imagination place is where I go to just be someone else. I don't want to be me. So I'll be someone else. So be happy, be brave, be you, and be blessed. And I shall see you soon and later. Bye.